Um, yeah, so these are arrow bars or pursuit bars, they're called. Um, so the goal in team pursuit, individual pursuit, is to be as small as possible to minimize your wind resistance. So the arrow bars, you put your elbows in here and you tuck your head as much as you can, which creates kind of a cone and you're close to that sort of air flowing over you. So you go essentially faster for the same power or energy output. Whereas if you were riding up here, you have a huge frontal area and then you just go slower and have to work a lot harder to go the same speed. So when we start a team pursuit or an individual pursuit, we do it from a stop. So it's called a standing start. So we start down here and you kind of throw yourself forwards on your bike, get up to speed in about a lap. And then once you're up to speed, you go into these. But to start the bike, you have to be down here. So, and this is a fixed gear bicycle? Yes. yes. So fixed gear here, you have the front chain ring and you have the back chain ring. So you can change these to get any gear combination you want. So if you want it more spinny or bigger, so it takes more to spin it. Um, but once you've got the gear on, you can't change it. Um, so you're stuck in that gear. If you want to go faster, you just have to move your legs faster. And it also means that you can't, you have to keep pedaling to keep the bike moving. And if you stop pedaling, the bike stops. So you go over the bars if you don't keep pedaling. And no brakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And uh, how much would you say uh, one of these babies costs? This one with this setup is minus the wheels because these are training wheels, but uh, with race wheels, it would probably be about 25 grand. Perfect. That shall be my Christmas gift. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>